Hiya! Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Lavish V. And I'm very excited to have you as usual. And it's so happy and pleasant to see you here again and again. Thank you for coming back for more. And I truly appreciate you here and all the newcomers that's just stopping by to see what's going on at lavish v you are most welcome and i appreciate your visit and please before you go subscribe and give me a big thumbs up hit the notification bell and also please to all my subscribers and the new ones that are coming Please leave a comment in the comment section for me to know how my channel is going. I'd really, really appreciate that. It's very encouraging and um, it keeps me pumped up. So thank you so much again. I'm very, very happy to be here to bring you all this content. And I'm glad to see that. Um, you are enjoying it when you do give me a thumbs up and leave a um, comment. So thank you very much. Today I would like to talk about um, one fragrance that make me very happy. It's not the only fragrance that make me happy. It is not. But yes, I would like to talk about it and also to talk about... Um, having a successful marriage and what that is like and some tips for you to um, achieve a successful marriage or a relationship. So yes, before um, further ado, I'm going to go in and the fragrance of the day that I'm also wearing already. It's yeah, it is. Um, Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture and this is the gold so it's Juicy Couture gold Viva La Juicy and this is a gourmet fragrance it's very very nice it's sexy it's seductive it's charming at the same time so it's very um full of caramel it's it's so good i have to rave about it and the cap is so cute with that little bow here and the bottle is so nice so yes um let me give it a spray hmm. Hmm. i can't have enough of this edible smelling fragrances it is awesome 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 i recommend that you grab yourself a bottle if you haven't got it already and if you do then you know what i'm talking about so with that and the nice smell that's making me feel really really good i would like to just talk about um marriage and relationship and sometimes you know it's very hard having um, a successful uh, marriage um, because you have to put a lot of work in your marriage. You cannot build your marriage or a relationship on a vanity value basis, meaning it's not about the size of your house or the car that you drive are even about um what your friends think of you and stuff like that or if you can afford the latest clothes or handbag or nothing marriage should not be based on a vanity aspect of course yes you would like to have some money so that you are financially secure so that um you can do the things that you want to do in your life but um a good and happy and successful marriage can never be built upon a vanity aspect because god forbid if you do have these things and one day you wake up and the market go busted or the bank shut down and take all your money then 
what's gonna happen you are telling me that that means you won't love each other care about yourselves anymore so you can't just um think that a successful relationship and a good committed life is gonna be dealing with that so for me instead of you doing all those things you spend time and energy to work on your marriage your relationship because in the long run that's all that's gonna matter how many effort you have put in how many time you have spent with each other so you are you are entrusting your heart you are entrusting your mind your energy everything you have put in your relationship so you have to um, make sure that you value it and its priority at all times and the first um, tip I want to give you now it's that you have to have love you have to have love along with commitment because you can always love someone and if you are not committed to them then how far is that love gonna go because you are gonna get burnt out you 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 because you can you can love something and change it but if you put a hundred percent commitment in it just like if you are doing your degree or your masters and you put commitment in doing that specific thing you are gonna be so great at it you are gonna make sure you get a pass you are gonna be doing all the right things to further yourself in that aspect you are not gonna wanna let yourself down so the same goes for your relationship your marriage you have to have to have to put the commitment and with that you know that's tip number one then with tip number two what i want to say that you have to make sure you are honest make sure you are honest with your partner because if you are not honest then you have a big problem the biggest problem is dishonesty one it don't have to be a giant um, dishonesty for it to fall apart. Simple little things. When you accumulate a little simple thing here, a little simple thing there that is affecting you or the other person, then the accumulation grow to be extensive and then one day someone just explode and it could have been avoided if you just talk to each other share um what's going on even like i said it can be simple but simple things can turn out to be big ones so the next tip i want to give to you now is that you have to have endurance you have to have stamina you have to have to have to endure like you've never endured before because no matter how much you get on as a couple you will have times when someone can just get on your nerves it don't have nothing to do with the love and the commitment but sometimes in the relationship when you have a disagreement about one thing or another thing come on it's only natural so if you haven't committed and you haven't loved you can just say i can't be bothered with this i'm mm, i don't care but because you have put in your commitment and your love you you have to have the endurance to go with it otherwise i'm sorry for you but it's going nowhere because trust me when i tell you that they will test you 
and even you will test them at times too so it's vice versa it's not a one-way street so when i when sometime for example you wake up and you get up like they would say on the wrong side of the bed and you are just miserable for that day do you think that your partner want to be hanging around you no they don't so and he might do something that you don't like and is on your nerves but because you built your relationship with endurance and stamina then it's water on a camel's back and you move forward then the next tip i would like to live with you is that um you have to have to be selfless there is no i there is no me there is no um what do you call it i was or i am um, no it's us it's what are we gonna do is what we're gonna do about this how should we go about that where are we going for holiday what are we gonna eat for dinner what would you like more of you taking care of the other person and the other person taking care of you and that means you have to um be selfless because sometimes what they want is not what you want but because of the love the commitment and the honesty you sometimes have to compromise you have to compromise you cannot just say mm, it's friday um and i want a movie night i used to do that when i was single so that's what i'm doing when when your partner um don't like to go to the movies you can't be doing it every friday you have to say okay let us choose um twice a month or once a month and you come and enjoy the movie with me so you have to meet halfway you can't just decide to do what you want when you want how you want who you want it's just not possible so you can't be single and in a relationship you can't be um, married and single so you just cannot it, it just don't happen and a lot of people get lost in not accepting that you are not by yourself anymore you have another person who you have joined together with to become one so you should be mirroring yourself rather than looking like two separate entity you have to join together and that's what a successful married life is all about you um when it comes on to um humility this is a big big huge problem in a lot of relationship because people don't really want to have humility um you want to treat your partner as if you know everything and they don't know nothing and they are lower than you and um they are this they are that and you are superior and they mean nothing to you the way how you behave then come on why are you together if the person is that bad and you are so much better than them and you are showing it obviously sometime you are but why did you join together as a couple if that is an issue with you you should go and find someone else on your level you don't have to make that person miserable but because you have committed me tell yourself you have put in your time and your energy and your love and your endurance you have to have humility and understand that okay she don't know this or he don't know that i'm gonna teach them i'm gonna show them the right way 
and try to get them to understand that this is what you ought to do this is how you behave this is what's going on and so on and i'm sure the love that the partner has for you they will come around they will learn but don't be a boss and a show off and and treat them like some kind of degenerate and you feel as though your life is is gonna be sweet and calm and happy and chirpy don't do that because trust me you are ruining your life so that is another tip have some humility in your life and take it from lavish v take it and listen well the next thing um as let's go into is that you cannot be selfish because if you are selfish i don't even know if i've told you before that you can't be selfish but you can't be selfish it's not i i i i i i, I me 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 no again you cannot be selfish you have to um learn to walk together talk together and moving on i'm gonna talk about communication communication is something that you have to do with everyone no matter how young or old or how um even if the person speak a different language, you have to try to communicate whether verbally or um, sign language or whatever. So you have to communicate because if you have your marriage and you are not communicating, <laughs> just say, Mm, it's a done deal this isn't working out because trust me that's not a successful marriage that's just a uh, two people living in a house together and passing each other like ships in the night or in the morning early hours of the morning or whatever you do but you just can't um stop communicating don't assume that okay my husband likes ketchup and he likes to add salt to his fries and then you go and squirt a whole heap of ketchup on his food and a whole heap of salt and then you bring it to him and he says to you oh baby um i didn't want ketchup or i didn't want salt Anyway, but you like ketchup. You like ketchup. Why are he's entitled to change his mind? She's entitled to change her mind. You can't just pour out drink and here drink. No. Would you like some water, some tea, or a drink, a cold drink? Don't assume for anyone. Ask question. Communicate. Communicate. It's very important important and if you are communicating your marriage will be very very successful then this is a big one it's a, a tip that i have to tell you and this one is choose what you are saying when you are arguing if you happen to have a disagreement with your partner, don't just start shouting and saying hateful stuff because it will register in their head and it will stuck there and they will have to wonder, is it for real? Do my husband or my wife truly believe these horrible, hateful things that they have just said? So you cannot speak out of term like that, my dears. You have to make sure that whatever you are arguing about, you stick to that point 
and do not trail into something else. Do not let um, a cup turn you into a monster saying stuff that's unnecessary. Do not let a new handbag that your wife bought turn you into a monster and say things unnecessarily because those things will lock in their heads and they can begin to resent you. So if you don't want resentment in your life, I am telling you now, fix up yourself and fix it up well. You just, um, <laughs> you can't have your cake and you have already ate it. You, you, you can't have it both ways at all. You can't say, I'm not telling you nothing. Talk to each other. Have fun together. That is another tip for you. You have to have fun. Sometimes, um, I have seven kids and I'm proud of them and I'm very happy. I have a baby, he's 12 months and I'm still trying my best to make sure I have some thing going on in my life just for me and my husband because if not, time just flies. If you are saying because of your children, you can't do this, you can't do that, Make sure you are doing it alongside bringing them up because if you haven't got a relationship with your partner and those children are growing and they grow and you realize that you have nothing in common and you have been living in a hell, you're just going to find yourself one day so lonely, so desperate, and so very sad and you are old and you don't even know where to start from and and you would be saying i've spent 25 years with you but you are a stranger and why are you a stranger? You would be a stranger, of course, because you don't communicate. You don't have fun together. You don't talk to each other. You don't have any patience. You don't have nothing for those 25 years. So come on. What do you expect that's going to happen? Obviously, a crap show. You are not going to be in the situation that you would hope because you have wasted those years to you. You were busy. You were um, bringing up the children. You worried about your son's football, your daughter's swimming lesson. Of course, you have to do those things because they are your children and you want the best for them. But don't forget yourselves, mommy and daddy, also matters they matters a great deal because they are getting older every day and if you don't have each other you are going to fall apart so the way to a successful marriage is you have to show love you not just show love you have to say i love you baby have i told you i love you today um and vice versa you have to find ways to spice it up every morning when my husband is going out he he writes me a nice little love note stick it on my dressing table i wake up and i see it and it makes my day. I have something to talk to him about later because I'm building on what he has set and and it worked for us. Sometimes he's on the sofa watching TV. I'm in the bedroom or I'm in the kitchen. I'm cooking. I miss him. I go and I give him a hug. I sit on him and the children, they are looking. Look, they're laughing at us like, but we have to play. We have to have fun. And, and I'm like to my son and my husband will say to my daughter, listen, you have to 
look after your husband or your wife and make sure you marry a wife like your mom and and vice versa so you have to have to have to put some work in it there's no successful marriage that's built on its own it's the two people that's in there that Put great effort, great understanding, a lot of love, a lot of endurance, communication. They put faith, they put their whole being inside of their relationship. Otherwise, I'm telling you now, there's no success at the end. There's no joy. You never have every answer to it. You just don't because... Life is unpredictable. Um, you don't know how you're going to wake up and feel. You, you don't know what's going to happen. But the little that you know is the one that you have started. It's just like if you want to run a race and you know when you're at the starting line and you, you're on your mark and then you are get set and then you are running and you know you want to win. So you're going to run with all your might, your power. You're going to put every single thing that you've got just to get to that finish line and fortunately um our relationship marriage is not as fast as a race it's a thing that takes time and it takes nurturing and it takes so much that you just it's a keep giving situation. You have to give and give and receive and receive and give and receive. It's that kind of party. And anyone that is in that party have to dance to that music and make sure you dance it well. Because if you do not, you're just going to keep on moving from man to man, woman to woman, because there will never be any perfect person that that you will find that you don't have to put effort in. No matter how small that effort is, you will still have to have to have to do something because if it's even financial and you not giving nothing the person doing the finance is gonna get fed up and can go to any other person because you are giving nothing in return so you get what i'm saying like i've said i do not have the answer to everything and i can't fix everything but what i do know from experience is everything i've told you because this is a video and I am not, um, what do you call it? A relationship counselor, nothing. So this is all life experience and what I've um, learned over the years and in self growth and understanding life, I have boil it down to these tips that i've given and i'm in a very happy and very successful marriage we are not perfect so don't get it twisted i'm not saying we are perfect or nothing but what i'm saying we are happy we have seven kids in the house and for seven kids we should have like a crazy house but we are grounded and it's because at the end of a tired day or going through the tired day i have someone to turn to to talk about my feelings to confide in to and that person reach back out and understand and vice versa um my husband have me to lean on my shoulder or my bosom and 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 I comfort him and listen to what's bothering him and we work it through and all of that so it's not handed on a gold platter like a plate of food it is determination it is 
what you put in inside your relationship that's what i believe that you will get out through the thick through the thin through the rain and the storm you just have to make sure that you are supportive to each other and love is grounded and understanding and don't forget that you have heard it from me you can listen to this over and over and over and use these tips i've given you and your life will make a change for the better i'll probably come back again with some more because i'm sure i'm forgetting i um, forgotten a lot of what i would want to say because this is just a live straight talk to you but i do appreciate you for coming again to lavish vtv and yes it's been wonderful talking to you i'm going now because it's 30 minutes and i'm needed in my house so thank you very much god bless you bye